Dear friends, I want to wish you a Shabbat Shalom. We're just coming from the 17th day of Tammuz, Shiva Tammuz, the fast day, commemorating when the Romans breached the walls of Jerusalem and began the process of the destruction of the Temple, which happened three weeks later to the day on the 9th of Av. And this week we read the Torah portion of Pinchas, which is quite common within the three-week period. And in the portion of Pinchas, we talk about leadership. After Moshe teaches the Jewish people about the laws of inheritance and the story of Tzlavchad only had five daughters and they thought they would not be able to inherit their father's land, who would not enter into the land of Israel as he died in the desert. But then Hashem said, if there are no sons to inherit, the daughters will inherit. So Moshe was thinking about his own inheritance. He knew he was not entering into Israel. And what will be when he passes away? Who will continue to lead? And he turns to God to appoint the leader, hoping it would be his children. And God told him to appoint his student who never left his side, Joshua, Yehoshua, to be the next leader. And then the Torah teaches us about the daily sacrifices that were brought on behalf of all the Jewish people, the Karban Tamid, the, cons- the constant sacrifice that opened every day in the temple and closed every day in the temple, weekday and Shabbos and holiday, every single day of the year, without fail. And Rashi points out that often when the Torah puts together subjects that are not related, it's because there is some connection. Not everything in the Torah is written in the order of chronological order, but everything has a connection to the peace and the discussion beforehand. So what is the connection between the leadership that Moshe was seeking for the Jewish people and the daily sacrifice? And Rashi tells us from the rabbis that Moshe was asking Hashem, help me find the leader for the Jews. And Hashem tells Moshe, before I find a leader for the Jews, what about telling the Jews to think about me? Help them do what they need to do for me. And the daily sacrifice, which throughout the time we had the temple, 1,300 years from when we had the Mishkan in the desert to the second temple was destroyed, the Jewish people brought a sacrifice to God on behalf of all the Jews. And actually, even though the temple was destroyed today, our prayers correspond to those two sacrifices. Shacharis in the morning and Mincha in the afternoon, a Mairev for the leftovers from these sacrifices. So Hashem says, why do you worry so much what I have to do for the Jews? Worry what the Jews have to do for me. And there was once a chassid of the Alta Rebbe, the first Chabad Rebbe, who was going through a difficult time in many areas of his life, and he came to the Rebbe for a private audience. Usually a very spiritual, righteous person would talk about spiritual matters. And <clears throat> came with a long list of complaints and issues that are bothering him and that he's dealing with. And after he sat and went through all the issues, the Alter Rebbe looked at him and said, We know now what you need from God, but what about what God needs from you? How come you're not addressing that? Address what God needs for you. God put us in this world. He wants us to do Torah mitzvahs, to be keyed and tuned in to Him, to follow in His path. Do what God wants from you, and God will do what He needs to do for you. And that is the way it really has to work. Sure, we turn to God for everything, because everything comes from God. But the best way, and the right way to start is, do what you're needed for. You're put here, worry about what you're needed for and why you were put here in this world and what your purpose and mission is. And then there's no question God will give you whatever you need. And as we enter into the three-week period when we remind ourselves of the destruction and the cause of the destruction, idol worship in the first temple, baseless hatred of a fellow Jew in the second temple, our focus has to be what we can do for God so God can bring us back to temple. Let us fix the symptom, the the, the core issue of the sin and the problem 
and then God will give us everything we need. So let's make the extra effort as we enter these three weeks to strengthen our love of a fellow Jew, our care for a fellow Jew. Reach out. Don't wait till they come to you. Reach out to someone. Someone you didn't reach out to for a while or someone in your neighborhood you never reached out to. Someone in your family you don't talk to. And just reach out and make it happen. Because when we reach out and we do for God what He wants to show how we love each fellow Jew like a brother, like ourselves, then Hashem will definitely do for us what we need. And bring us Mashiach very quickly in our days. So I want to wish you a Shabbat Shalom. God loves you. May God bless you. We love you all. Candlelight Time Montreal, 8.27 p.m.